Hello and welcome to Quick Shot Reviews for Cheap Shot Entertainment. I'm your host Luke and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. I've just been to see the Black Phone. It is in theatres now. It's been out for around two weeks here in the UK. It's released in 2022, although it is advertised as a 2021 film. Directed by Scott Derrickson, based on the short story by Joe Hill. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, really, I really enjoyed this film. I'll uh, get into uh, the meat of everything, of what I thought about this film. Being a sort of horror connoisseur, uh, if you're going into this thinking that this will be a horror film, it is not. It does have some supernatural elements in it, which is not a spoiler because they are in the trailer. And uh, yeah, it features um, you know a, a antagonist called the Grabber, played by Ethan Hawke, uh, who uh, locks a thirteen-year-old boy in his basement. And uh, yeah, this, <laughs> there's no easy way to sort of explain that. But like I say, I will get into a bit more of a um, detail um, in the main part of the video. But in the meantime, click the subscribe button, like the video. If you're listening to this as a podcast, thank you very much. And uh, join us on all social media as well. That is Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Cheap Shot Entertainment. Without further ado, let's get into the main part of the video. So the black phone is exactly what it says on the tin. It is about a black phone. Um, the main antagonist, like I said, played by Ethan Hawke, uh, also known as the Grabber, uh, is going round grabbing kids, mainly teenage boys. Um, so take from that what you will, but there is that sort of childlike element to the main antagonist the grabber uh, so to speak and what really got me about this is it introduces a mask with changeable faces and uh, depending on what mood the grabber was in he could take the mouthpiece off never took the, it does actually it does take the top bit off um so you could take the headpiece off depending on what mood the grabber is in at the time it can change it for a smile, a frown. It can change it for one with no mouth whatsoever, which is just insane. Really cool mask design designed by uh, Tom Savini of um, very much fame around masks and things like that. So that's really cool that they managed to get him to, to get on board with this. Um, Again, stars uh, Ethan Hawke, uh, Mason Thames plays Finney, and uh, Madeline McGraw plays his sister, uh, Gwen. Um, and that's pretty much your, your lot, really. Most of the cast, then, are sort of side characters. There isn't very many that uh, stand out, because they're not in the film very long, but do appear sporadically as we go along. Um, so, yeah, the... Um, basic plot uh, after being abducted by a child killer of course yeah um, and locked in a soundproof basement so he can't scream for help a 13 year old boy called Finney starts receiving calls on a disconnected phone from the killer's previous victims so yeah there is um, no mention of I'm just going to say it, no mention of sexual con context here um, he's just abducting children and killing them. And uh, the visuals in this film are absolutely stunning. Um, the long shots, the uh, quickened up shots, slowed down shots, the use of uh, camera flicker and all that kind of stuff. 
um, is phenomenal. The sound is great and it had me hooked from start to finish. Uh, the child actors really stand out here and he, Ethan Hawke's just proving to be a, a, just a great actor. He doesn't get very many parts, but when he does get a part, he plays it really, really well. It does help that the uh, director did direct the Sinister series. Obviously, Ethan Hawke made his big comeback pretty much with that film. Again, another film that I absolutely adore um <clears throat> so yeah um it's it's great like i say it's based on the short story the black phone by joe hill uh, son of stephen king the original antagonist the the grabber is actually uh, a clown but they changed that in the screenplay because it was too close to Pennywise, obviously, for obvious reasons, didn't want to make that assumption, didn't want to think people to think that it was trying to come off the back of the success of the newer It series. Um, but yeah, this this film is yeah, it's really really good. Um, if you're wondering whether you should go and see it because of the um, because of the undertones of kidnapping, child child molestation. There is no molestation in this film. It wouldn't obviously get away with that. Um, it's set in the 70s, so you, know, you have to take it with a pinch of salt, some of the stuff that does happen in the film. But generally, a bone-chilling performance by um, Ethan Hawke in this one. And like I say, it is quite funny in places as well um it doesn't hold any punches it explores um quite a few different themes and it, it can be disjointed with the way it does things um it does borrow heavily from uh, stephen king's work in places but i would say this is as much a standalone as it is you know related to Stephen King's work um, but to extend the story to um, <clears throat> make it a feature film uh, like I say there is some bits that possibly could have been missed out but ultimately it doesn't drag I mean, I watched this at 10.30 at night. By the time it started, it was 10 to 11. It was, you know, quite, it's quite late. And I didn't feel tired. I wanted to watch it all the way through. And that is, you know, a mark of a good film to me. Um, like I say, really, really good. I'd recommend this one. Um, but ultimately, you got to go and make your own decision. Um uh, you know, if you're wanting to watch it, if you're a horror fan like me, this is more thriller um, with those supernatural elements in it. But it's well worth a watch. Well worth a watch. There's even some little nods here and there to his dad's work, of course, as well. Um, but jumpy enough to get your heart racing wanting and wanting to know what's going to happen next. And it's quite clever and it's set up with... Uh, everything going in hand in hand which is really cool if you've seen the film let us know leave us a comment in the comments section or join us on social media if you want to go and see the film do and if you do let us know in the comments section or join us on social media instagram twitter and facebook uh, it won't be out for very much longer it is one that is very much worth going to see in the cinema for the sound design and the visuals but uh yeah ultimately i'll leave it up to you i'm going to give this one a cheap shot rating of go see it and i'll see you next time we've got where the crawdads sing next coming up next week so uh, another sort of um horror thriller type thing um 
with that one. So yeah, join us for that, and I'll see you next time. Cheap Shot Nation. Goodbye.